You guys are not going to believe what happened to me. I was going on a cruise and I'm not even joking. There was a hole in the cruise ship. Welcome to Always Alyssa. Hey everyone, welcome back. And yes, you heard that right. There was a hole on the back of our cruise ship. It's literally crazy. I can't even believe that it happened to us. I'm gonna give you guys the entire story, starting from the very beginning. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys all about that trip and that cruise and how that ended up working out because it was pretty interesting to say the least. And I'm also going to be telling you about my upcoming trip that is actually today. We're literally leaving today for it. I'm going to Utah and Texas. Back to the very beginning of this whole cruise ship story, no pun intended. We had booked this trip to Alaska with my grandparents from Texas because as you guys know, my grandma isn't doing too well. So we wanted to spend a lot of time with her and go on a vacation. We thought that would be pretty fun. So we had booked this cruise maybe like five or six months ago and we were actually one of the last people to be booking. So we were really lucky that we were even able to book it. I even showed you guys a couple times in my bathroom. I had that Alaska countdown with all the cute little pictures on it that I drew. Yeah, I was so fun. I was really excited. I mean, well, until we got there. So yeah, I can't skip ahead. Let me just tell the whole story. I'm getting too excited. Anyways, so we drove to San Francisco because that's where our cruise ship was leaving from. We spent the night in San Francisco in a hotel. We were all so excited. We could hardly sleep. We woke up, we got some Ubers and drove to the cruise terminal. We were at Pier 27, I believe. So we got to the cruise, you know, checked in our luggage, did all of that. There was a huge line to actually get on the cruise. So we just started waiting in that line. It took like maybe 30 minutes. And we noticed as we were walking by that there were some people that were being filmed by like, um, just like almost a film crew. And I was like, is that the news? Why is the news here? That's kind of weird. So I just kind of, you know, shrugged it off like, eh, it's nothing, I bet. So we were still waiting in line. We were just talking, you know, whatever. And when we got further up in the line, we were looking at the boat because it was like right there. It was just like huge. We we're like, oh, it's so cool. Let's take pictures, you know. It was the back of the boat, by the way. And then when we looked down, after we got past this little gate, we saw there was literally a crash in the back of the cruise ship, like this big hole on the side. I'll insert a picture right here. I'm not even joking, but it was so scary. We were like, seriously? There is a hole in the cruise ship that we're about to sail on. We were like, this is crazy. First of all, why are they even letting us still board? So I tried looking it up and sure enough, it was on the news. And that's when I realized that's why there were news people there. They were filming the hole in our cruise ship. Like what? How does that even happen? I so apparently there's like um, something called a bar pilot, which is someone who like gets on the cruise ship to help it drive into the ports because it's trickier, you know, it's shallow and they don't want to run into any sandbars. So that's the one who crashed, not even the normal captain. Like that's crazy, right? But they were still letting everyone board. So we were kind of confused about that. But I mean, we got on anyways. There's no way we weren't going to do this amazing Alaska trip after all this planning. So the whole time walking through the cruise terminal, all of us kids were just talking about it. Like, how likely is it to sink? Like, is it safe from all the technology? We were just going through all the options. It was kind of funny now that I think about it, but here's what ended up happening. So, you know, we got on the cruise ship, we went to our cabin, everything was fine, I guess. We were supposed to be setting sail 4 p.m. that evening, but as you know, 3, 4 p.m. rolled around, we never left the port. And we kept getting announcements from the captain that night that we wouldn't be able to leave till the next day because they were still trying to fix the hole or patch it up or whatever. So we waited till the next day, you know, a disappointment we were still in the port. And then at noon during lunch, the captain came on the speaker again and told us that we wouldn't be able to leave yet because they're still trying to get clearance from the Coast Guard because apparently they had the Coast Guard come out and look at it and see if it was safe or not. As the day went on, we got more and more announcements. Still, we weren't able to leave. Then comes the next day, which I believe was Saturday. We boarded the boat on Thursday. Then Friday, we just sat in the port. Saturday, this is the next day, we still had more announcements. And then finally, we got one like final announcement. He announced that we would be able to leave on Sunday. So that means we would be a total of like four days just sitting in the port doing nothing. And we weren't even able to get off the ship until Saturday, they let us get off the ship and do stuff in San Francisco, which that was actually pretty fun. We went to the Exploratorium. And then we got back on the ship Saturday night. We had to wait all the way till Sunday at like 4 p.m. And then finally we would be sailing away. 
Apparently the Coast Guard had been looking at the hole and patching it up or whatever and talking and seeing if they could have clearance to leave yet because Princess, the cruise brand, wanted to leave. You know, they didn't really care, I guess. But the Coast Guard didn't want us to leave. They wouldn't give us clearance because they wanted us to be safe. Which is good because I really wouldn't want our cruise ship to sink in the middle of the ocean when we're going to Alaska. That would have been bad. Here's something that I forgot to mention. On Saturday, when the captain gave the announcement that we would be clear to set sail on Sunday, which we did, he also said that we were gonna have to shorten the itinerary, which means only two stops instead of five. And one of them was Canada. When we didn't even wanna go to Canada, we wanted to go to Alaska. So we only got one Alaska stop, which was Ketchikan, and one Canada stop, which was Prince Rupert. Which of course, everybody was super disappointed. So here's what the captain said. He said, by Sunday, if you want, you can get off the ship by like 11 a.m. We will refund you everything, 100% refund, and give you like 50% off an additional cruise. The second option was to stay and finish out the cruise, get 75% of your money back, plus 75% off a new cruise. So we really didn't know what to do. We really thought it was kind of a waste to just, you know, only get one Alaska stop after waiting so long for this and we wanted to see Alaska so bad and it was just gonna be a shorter cruise and we could, you know, be working at home and getting stuff done. But on the other hand, we wanted to spend time with my grandparents cause that would be fun too. And we also thought it could still be fun even though it's a shorter itinerary and there's not as many stops. So we really spent like all day thinking about it and we eventually decided we're just gonna stay. Which the only downside was, I definitely feel like we didn't see the full Alaska since we only saw Ketchikan, which is at like the very, very southern tip of Alaska. If you look at the map, like Alaska's up here, it's like that tiny little tip down here. So we were just barely seeing it. But the good thing is we did see eagles, so that was pretty cool. We did this bus tour where we saw some eagles, some pretty waterfall in this super nice valley, and we also saw some totem poles. It was pretty fun. And in Prince Rupert, we did this super pretty nature hike. It was really nice, actually, and the weather was good, too. You know, speaking of the weather, we had packed for this trip thinking it was gonna be so cold because, you know, it was Alaska, and we were planning on going to Glacier Bay because that's what we were going to do on the cruise, which obviously we didn't know what was gonna happen, but we had pretty much packed all of our super thick jackets beanies, gloves, everything. And when we actually got to Ketchikan and Prince Rupert, it was literally hot outside. Like we were just peeling off all of our layers. That's how hot it was. Also on cruise ships, they have formal night. If you have been on cruises, you know what that is. If not, it's basically just, you know, what it sounds like. Everyone dresses in formal clothes to go to dinner. It's pretty fun. I actually got a new dress specifically for formal night and I wore it on the cruise. Here's a picture. So that was pretty fun. <sighs> Honestly, that entire trip was just like crazy. I never ever thought that our cruise ship would be the one that would crash into the dock and then like be delayed four days. Like, oh, it was a little bit stressful and it was kind of sad also. I mean, the trip ended up being pretty fun though. So I am glad that we stayed. But yeah, it was just honestly crazy. Like, it's so rare too. Only like three ships since the 80s have crashed into the dock and now ours is added to that list. Like, wow, what are the chances? Well, now I'm going to tell you guys about my suitcase back there and my other trip. Like I might've mentioned before, we only have one day in between the trips and that was yesterday. Today is literally the day we're leaving actually. We're probably gonna leave in the next hour or two. So I had to film this video really quickly. But anyways, that's my suitcase back there. It's pretty much fully packed. I just maybe have a couple more things like maybe a phone charger or something. But other than that, I'm fully packed. I was gonna show you guys what I've packed and I also tell you the reason that we're going on this other trip. We're going to Utah and Texas. We're going to Texas for a funeral, sadly, not a good reason to be visiting there, but we are gonna also hang out with some family. And for Utah, we're going because my mom has a family reunion with her side of the family. But the extra exciting part is that my best friend Ellie, I'm sure you guys know her by now, she and her family are also coming along to Utah, so that'll be a lot of fun. Some of this stuff in my suitcase I actually packed before our Alaska trip just so we were really prepared because we knew we were only gonna have one day in between the two trips, which like I said was yesterday and we're leaving today. So that's pretty crazy, but I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that I packed. Since for the Alaska cruise, we packed super cold clothes because we were planning on cold weather. And for this trip we packed, you know, warm summer clothes. For the Alaska cruise, we also had no laundry, so we had to pack like a ton of outfits. But luckily for this trip, we are gonna have laundry, so I will be able to pack a little bit less of everything, which is nice. So, 
First of all, I have two hats. I got this one I got from my grandparents. And this one that I tie-dyed myself in a video a while back. You guys might remember that one, that one was fun. And then of course, bucket hat, one of my favorites. I love bucket hats, they're so cute. Had to bring one. Here's my bathing suit. I got my toiletries in a pack down here. And this is my shoe bag, I have a couple of them. I'm bringing black boots, some Vans, and also some Crocs. If you know me, I always have to pack a day bag everywhere I go, every vacation. So here's my day bag this trip. It's like holographic, so cute. I usually just have, you know, all the essentials like hairbrush, Vaseline, gotta have Vaseline. I can't go anywhere without this. Then lotion, of course, which by the way, I'm running low. I need to get some new lotion. And also just like pen, pencil, I don't know, random day bag stuff like sunglasses and also a phone charger since we're gonna be on a road trip. And of course, gotta bring a nice fuzzy blanket for the car in case it gets cold or in case I wanna sleep. That's pretty much everything that I'm packing for this trip and I think it's gonna be fun. I hope it's gonna be fun since I literally have never had a family reunion before. I don't think I've ever actually been to a family reunion on either side of the family, so I'm hoping it'll be fun. I'll definitely have to tell you guys after I'm back. And also, all the stuff I told you about the cruise ship, like the hole in the ship, like, I don't know, that's just so crazy. I still cannot even believe that happened. Also, be sure to comment and tell me if you guys have ever been on the cruise before, and if not, because if you haven't, you definitely should. They're so much fun. I love cruising so much. But anyways, make sure to leave a thumbs up for this video, and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!